Hello, hello! This is going to be the July TBR, or my July TBR. I am going to have this in sections. This is a really brave TBR for me. I haven't read more than four or five books since like April or something. So the first section, I'm just gonna jump right in. So my first group of books for July is going to be in preparation for the July Owl Crate. In our June Owl Crate box, we got this spoiler card and here it is. So there's a side and then there's this side. One side says the theme of the July box is strange and unusual. Flip for a sneak peek. And then the other side, inside the July box, you'll find an officially licensed item from Stranger Things, which I haven't watched. I'm really excited for this. And in it, it says that we can expect goodies from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, The Raven Boys, and Harry Potter, and more. I have never read the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. If you need a precursor to this book, I don't know what rock you're living under, but yes. I actually love the movies, but my problem with this for me is that I have trouble reading books after I've already seen the movie. But what I've heard from a lot of people is that the movies really diverge away from the books after book two or three. So I really, really want to start and finish this series at some point in my life. I've owned them all since middle school. So yes, book number one. The next book is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I have been wanting to read this for a really long time. I haven't seen the movie yet, so I want to read the book and then watch the movie because if it's the other way around, it's going to be like Harry Potter and I'll never read it. But it will sit on my bookshelf for like 10 to 15 years. So I want to read this. I've heard mixed reviews, so yeah. It is a book about peculiar children. I've seen the trailer for the movie. I'm hoping I like the book. The next book I have not actually bought yet, but that is the book Raven Boys by Maggie Stiebotter. I'm really excited for this book. All I know is that it follows a boy named Blue. I don't know what it's about at all, but I've been hearing people rant and rave about this series for long enough. I feel like I should finally take the plunge to be announced on that. I'm hoping I like it. My next group of books is just books I want to read. Like I said, this TBR is very brave for me, so I'm not sure how many of these books I'll actually get to. The next book slash books are the books two and three of the Shiver series by Maggie Stiefvater. So there's both of these. I actually borrowed these from a friend. I actually borrowed a lot of books from my friend, and they're in hardcover, and I am a hardcover fiend. I love reading hardcover books. If you don't know what they're about, it's about a girl that has been seeing wolves all of her life. When she was younger, she got attacked by wolves and then later finds out that they're werewolves. So the series was really nice and fluffy for me after some of the other YA novels that I've been reading that have been a little bit more intense. So I've really enjoyed these. I wonder how many of you judging me for my nails because they're not painted. <laughs> Moving on. The next book is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adi Adia. Pretty sure it's Adia. What caught my attention with this book is that it says something about the fact that the main character is an alchemist. I am completely and utterly obsessed with Full Metal Alchemist and I always have been. My cat's names are Havoc after Jean Havoc and Mustang after Roy Mustang, so. So that's what got me to pick up this book. After reading the synopsis, I now know that she was raised to marry, but bandits actually attack her and she goes back for revenge and falls in love. I don't know much more than that. So yeah. The next book was on my June TBR and I never got to it because halfway through the month I switched gears. So whoops. But that is Children of Eden by Joey Graspa. It has something to do with a polluted earth and a girl that lives in a government that has population control by what I believe it to be. She is the second child, so basically she's illegal. It really reminds me of Octavia from The 100. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know much more about this one either. I like to be surprised from page one. 
hopefully I'll get to this one because it's been sitting on my shelf since it came out. Whoops, again. The next one I've been seeing even more mixed reviews about, and that is the Illuminae series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is another book that's been sitting on my bookshelf since it came out. And what actually got me to, and what actually got me to pick this book up is actually the layout of it, which I think is going to be super cool. But yeah. If you've watched my booktube newbie tag, um, you will know that I am super far behind on all the popular books. This is one of them. I am trying to catch up. I promise. I know almost nothing about this book, except for the fact that it is set in the future. So this will be a surprise for me. I am judging myself for my nails. So that is the second group of books that I want to read. And on to the third group of books that I want to read. It's actually the books that I know I probably won't get to, but whenever I finish a book, I'm always, I never know what book I'm going to pick up next. I don't have an order set at the beginning of the month. I finish a book and then I kind of have a preconceived notion of what I want to read next. These are like backup books. The first one is on my Kindle. I've talked about it in like my past three, two or three videos which is impressive because I only have four. But that is Crystal Blade by Catherine Purdy. It's book two of the Burning Glass series, which I absolutely loved and actually I reread it in June. I don't know how to form sentences. It's fine. I'm super excited about this and I need to read it before November. So I have time because book three comes out in November. I'll get to it. The next book is The Wanted, which is book four of the Woodland series. And that's by Lauren Nicole Taylor, one of my new favorite series. It follows a girl and when they turn to be adults, they're shipped off and they get put into certain categories. Their government basically tells them what they have to do for the rest of their lives after tests and such and stuff like that. In book one, something really horrible happens to her and it kind of just snowballs after that. This is the last book to the series and I'm really excited to finish it at some point. And my last backup book is To All the Boys I've Loved by Jenny Han. And I know this is coming out with a TV show, Netflix original movie. I, I don't even know, but I know it's coming out. And I've been trying really hard to get back into some YA contemporary novels and series. So this is just me trying to push myself in the right direction. So my three category of books, I know it's a lot of books. I think it's 10 books and I am totally prepared not to read all 10. But thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Please check out my other videos. If you like me, subscribe and click on the little thumb guy below. I'm weird. I've embraced it by now. But stay tuned for more videos. I have a bunch planned, but thank you for watching. Bye!